Well, welcome back to another episode of Factorio. Uh, it's not what I wanted to do. This episode is, uh, this is the third time I'm trying to record this. The first time a lot of things went wrong. The second time, basically, I didn't have audio. I had the screens of everything and... Alright, so, now backing up, it should work. And I hope so, because otherwise I maybe would skip it, because I don't want to record it a fourth time. What I did in the meantime, fix a few stuff up, things up here. I don't know if I talked about this iron buffer. I think I think I did. We didn't ha had we did not have enough iron, but the thing is still. So this is buffer. The stone buffer is now. Oh, this line is empty. That's good. So you know. Uh, yes. So. Uh, bye. We can take this away. I finally. And we can extend the railroad. I uh, temporary. Come in, come in. Thank you. I temporarily made a, a way to go up here to this place uh, to have some more um, iron to be mined because the iron on the other side is a bit empty. And uh, we need to extend this track. And um, we also designed an, uh, uh, an, an layout for the track. So uh, when the trains. Give this a little bit of an example. So do we like that later on? And then we have an, a, a little bit nicey sign. If you ask me, let's light it up a bit more with my beam. A little bit of nicey sign, I think. Um, of how to see where the things is going to be. Then we had like this thing that needs a bit redesign because it's not it's now made for the this one to go left and the down one to go right need to redesign that uh and it's too close to the to, the, to this but doesn't no that doesn't matter um this one is waiting for stone that's uh iron i mean and it's going really slow because this one is really empty this one this one too oh oh so it went all empty so we can take um, take it away with red one. So let's take that all away. So we can use that to build a new one. Like that. Uh, we could open the book and not stand on a page. We can insert all these blueprints and you. Ha! Oh, that one nice. So now we have a book. How did that work? Shift plus mouse wheel up for next. Shift plus mouse wheel up for next. So we need to select line, line one. So if we just keep doing that, if we select that one, shift plus mouse wheel up for next. So if we just So now we can say we only want that item to be here. Oh, that's nice too. All right, so that's how you do it. Well, that's nice. So you can search the blueprints like that. That's nice. Uh, oh, it's cutting down some trees here, apparently. Uh, what I did too is I added this mass big section. This mass big section, there's a stream. Um, it's if you cannot find it on my channel, just leave a comment down below, and I'll try to link it. Uh, it's probably linked in the Let's Play series of this mm, uh, this series, so don't worry about it too much. Uh, I want to do more here, there, and there later on. But for now, this took me around three hours to do. Yes, but it's massive and it's big, and it's just what I wanted. Uh, so this. Uh, place is safe. Uh, I also expanded this place, this wall that used to be here, a bit more up to there, uh, so we can make an intersection right here. And that's why I was cutting down trees uh, to make uh, make uh, room for an intersection. So let's get some more down and let's make sure I don't cut those cables off. I should keep the cables. Yeah. Doesn't don't worry about it too much because the cables are run on both sides, so that if the right side is broken, the left side still continues to work. Where's my microphone? There it is. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> I lost track of it. Like that. And then um, we, can, we can make a, a nice intersection right here. I'm just needing cutting down some more trees. So I wasted like 14 minutes. So the oil production is going high, but we don't produce enough oil anymore. I wasted like 14 minutes talking and explaining a lot of things. I thought I should almost forget because I just think about like, yeah, I should not, I should talk about this and then I forget it. Yes, I already talked about it, so I cannot talk about it another time. But uh, this time I didn't do a lot. This time that doesn't do a lot of good things. To remove more. So I want to design um microphone going or position. Really hope it's recording right now. I will check that in a minute. But uh, first I want to cut down some trees. <coughs> You are all doing nothing. Well, great. Here you have the last task of cutting down trees. And I know the population will spread rapid through here. We also need to cut down some loads and loads of trees here to get it a bit more flat. But, um, and I want to change the solar panels to be fitted somewhere else, I think. Because it's a bit odd that it is right here. Maybe not. And we can just keep it here. This is a big solar array. I like it still. Uh, three more. Three, 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 three more trees to do. Anyway, uh, let's start uh, that, like that. So this should be the inner ring. Uh, but the problem with the inner ring, if you have a ring, it can jam itself to, a, I think they call it a dead lock or something. So what I do is I simply remove these two and I do connect that to the system. Stupid thing. With me! Why doesn't that connect completely? So let's remove it again. Give my inventory a little bit of space because I don't need those stuff. Phew! We're going to be there. So we need rails. Rails. And a work one. The red one is going to remove this part. Uh, we need a bit more extension here. So this is going to be the first time I'm designing this. So shift, nope. Like that and then rotate. Rotate. So it's um, the inner wheel. And then we still need an outer wheel. Q one. I'm not so sure about the outer wheel, but we need to do the inner wheel correctly first, which is going to give me a little bit of headaches. This one goes up. That's nice. Then um, the distance of this would be right here the same. And we need to connect you towards you. <coughs> so that's that's done easily. Then we would have uh, this thing. And we need it on all sides. Like that. So that would be the intersection. And then uh, we just need to add shift at sh no shift there right fine fine rotate uh like that 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 and that <clears throat> and it's not round see that it's nice here but not there which makes me want to do this over again. Zoop. And then this one is not connected. I need to do that. And that's connected now. So from this place towards this place. So let's test if that's what we want. So let's grab it completely and 
Remove some more trees. Don't grab it with a right one, by the way. I almost did that. Just make a big problem. So if we now rotate it, as you can see, it's completely round. So that's nice. Then we remove one side. So it cannot go into the deadlock because this train can always move. And to make sure that they can uh, go around, we just add a little bit of railroad like Why can't you go that way? Please just listen to me like that. And you connect. Thank you. The only thing to do right now is just to make some connection between the poles again. Oh, that would work, work too. <laughs> so now we have this weird way. So if a train is in the outdoor lane, it can go this way, but it cannot go the, to the inner lane. So we fix that by um, yeah, and that's why we need to remove this a bit. Let's grab some land tiles. <laughs> Hey, we cause we made a thousand land. Hey, hello, thing, train, thingy. So let's move all the way here. Go down, and then uh, we need that to be on, and then we need land tiles, land fills. I call them land tiles. Well, let's call them land fills. It's thing. I'm not sure. I should really check if my voice is recording, so I'll be right back. So nicely my voice is recording, so that's great. Um, so we have this one. Um, we should, we have, we have normal rails. It's nice too. Then we should make one of uh, this system. So let's save that. Then we can fill up this part with land we just need it I, I like the, the pathways we do it somewhere else but you just need land right here um, then we need to add rail signs so for every entrance you place one of these down so here's no entrance, so there's the entrance. And there. No, and then we have entrance here. There. Oh, this one stops there. That's that's complete. Right. So for our exit, you have we do like that. It's always already decided where, what train to go. Um, this exit is going to be here, so that's a bit different place. So that's the, the thing. Then what I decided to do, uh, we can always change this stuff. Uh, we can place one like there, 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 and it should also be on the outer ring. I will need to check that to verify how that's working. So for now. We just cut the circle so the train, two trains can move at the same thing. We'll do it later better. For now, I'm just focusing on getting it a bit more done. So, um, we have this one. So, it's normal is like that. Well, not normal would be like there. Let's do the lowest one. So um, it should be somewhere there. Come on, somewhere there. Let's try it again. One further. Oh no, we can see that. We have a nice help thing. So that's that's a nice spot. That's a nice spot. And then for the other ones, it's just the same thing. But then like, like that. 
Then we have that zigzag thingy. We place that right there. Fine. We need a little bit more land right here because we probably cannot place that right there. So uh, let's grab some more land and some more stones. To do that, I'm turning the microphone. Thank you. If you have any suggestions or stuff, just go down the comments, comment, and I will read it. Be aware of that. Don't spam, I read everything in the comments. Uh, we need uh, green circuits, iron, green circuits and iron. So, uh, green circuits and iron. We have a lot of guns left, let's put that back. Green circuits, iron, and we need landfills, we need it. So let's make... Oh, that's really using the tons of that. Um... Make some more of those lights. We need loads and loads of those lights eventually. So we're gonna set up some crafters for that too. But for now, uh, no. Also, I like this. Uh, the yellow ones is just to indicate that you should not walk there. I have no idea how long this episode is. I should check the timestamp for that, but... Uh, da, da, da. And I want to try to fill up this, but that doesn't work. So then, um, we know we have those. Uh, what I want to do is place these one down here. And so these we place these. So what now happens? I will explain you. The the the, the train signals will be the same as this signals. But this train, if there's a train right here and it wants to go here, and this one is red, it will wait here. So if there's a train here and wants to go down, it still can do that. So it will not hold. It will not uh, block this intersection. There can only be one train in this intersection, and uh, if it goes past this, so it's not there's no train in this block anymore, it will clear the intersection. So that way uh, we have only this tiny space. If there's a train in there, it will stop both of those lanes, which is not that bad. It's just better because now we can switch switch our lanes. Why did not do that next to this? Because that's uh, pretty important. Because now a train wants to go like to this side, to this one. So this train wants to go there. So it could not go from the outside. So it's already choosing to go into the inner lane. I will not block a train. So we have more trains here standing to go into the intersection. So that's nice. Um, then we can continue by putting this downward um yeah that's going to be a bit of a problem you there we want a new one and we take this part so we now have this part and then we can kinda that's nice yeah we can place that on top of it I want there on that and then just remove that and that one and change the signals again no oh, this one can go away this one can go away because they are further for that one got a little bit more here to fill this gap now we have a big a big intersections made so we want to save that, we don't want to save this one, we're going to use this one temporary. We don't have train tracks anymore, can we save, alright that's nice. So if we uh, save this, do, can we save trees, no, that's nice, nice to know. We have that, but the only thing is we have now power poles standing in our way, so we need to remove the power poles temporary. loads of power poles around here, you know? I think that's all. So we make a big railroad that. Uh, we still have two power poles. 
standing in my way. You and you. Let's try again. Not too high because then I will not catch that one and not too short because I want to catch them all. Then bring that back. No, no, no. Bit higher. That does look a bit better, but not great. That's perfect. Like that. That's good. So, um, we call this roundabout. Round about. Can we give it a nice little logo or something? Um, something circular? Something... We don't have circle rail stuff, so we would take... That. So, rail and circuit. Bit weird. So we can remove that. That is empty again. So this normal rails, so um we say rails and U shape. Our uh, rails and what oh, is need going to be a cross thingy. If anything that can represent like that. Hmm. Don't have that. We then can continue cutting down trees. Uh, to get to the iron iron patches because it was one right there. So um, I will just check the timestamp and see if we have anything left. And <laughs> it's it's about time to wrap this up. But what I will do meanwhile um, offline, uh, maybe expanding this a bit more. Uh, this looks cool, you know. Uh, craft more rails. That's one thing for sure. And then uh, next time we can connect the little patches of iron to the system and then we have uh, if we call it iron or a pick off then the train will decides one of the pick offs to go to and then pick it up <coughs> we call it one two three four five six seven eight and then it just circles them around and then it goes to the main drop off point I can see that yellow and that's nice so we need to extend that to <laughs> we already have a four path system laid out uh, we need a big area Put these down because I wanted to do them there, but seeing that size, it's not gonna fit. I need at least like an area like that size. Um, I've been thinking about just utterly destroying these waters here, so we have a nice big square of land. <clears throat> not sure about that yet. Um, but what I want to do is, I'm not sure if this wall is going to keep up with the uh, things. It seems like it does, uh, because they are not loaded in. And when I'm getting close to it, yeah, they do load in, but it seems to still work. I really want to expand a lot here. Because I wanted to make it huge. And I'm not sure, sure what to do with the spaces in between here. Just walking things or something like that. But for now, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you another time. And uh, for now, goodbye.